Hey there, all of my Libra people out there, sun, moon, and rising. It's time to have a look and see just what is going on when it comes to your weekly astrological and tarot card forecasts for the week starting October 7th, 2024. And just a quick reminder, if you ever want to get a personal reading with me, you just need to go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com, or you can follow the links in the down bar below. I look forward to hearing from you. So what's going on with your week in terms of the astro weather? Well, on and around the 8th, we've got Venus in Scorpio forming a powerful trine to Mars in Cancer. And this is all about rewarding link-ups. And for you, it's all about the money because this is activating both your income and employment sector and your sector of upward mobility, promotions, status, and raises. And there could be some kind of important exchange or development going on on the job or through a professional communication that is actually going to put you on a higher road, especially something that could surpass maybe a slow-paced growth plan that you have been maybe having to deal with for now, but there is some kind of special favor or new development that's going to be shaking things up in the best of ways. On the 9th, we've got Jupiter turning retrograde in Gemini, which is going to actually be retrograde in Gemini all the way up through early February 2025. And this is a time of missed and misunderstood opportunities getting revealed and also having their chance to be revisited and restarted. And for you, this is all about expansion. This is all about long distance connections, travel opportunities, big moves, and anything where you could be getting a chance to re-engage an adventure or to even develop some kind of important project or new life path by getting out of maybe your bubble or a place that have kept, has kept you contained or trapped or in a small container. And with this, over the course of this next few months, you may be finding that long distance connections, long distance associations, or even uh, maybe more personal creative projects or professional pursuits are going to be revealing themselves for what they can actually do for you. And you want to be ready to engage. So that is what we've got for your astrology and the weather. Let's have a look and see what's going on with your tarot and the traffic. All right, Libra, here is your tarot traffic. For your Earth sector, when it comes to your work, job, and finances, you've got the Magician card reversed, which is indicating that this week there you might come across a situation that could be a blunder or a mess that is waiting to happen, and you are put on guard not to get involved with it, right? Forewarned is forearmed, that's why I don't do fluffy readings. And with the Magician reversed, this could be a situation that uh, is stirred up either by somebody who is incompetent or incapable or somebody that is actually being a tad manipulative. This could be something showing up around a financial or a professional situation or responsibility, and you're going to want to make sure you shut it down. For your community, friends, relatives, and other people in your life, You've got the Queen of Pentacles upright. And so the Queen of Pentacles is all about getting lifted up by somebody that you um, will understand to be either a self-made success, an independent success, but also somebody that is multi-talented and also very generous and very caring at the same time. This is a power player getting closer to you in your life. May not be a she, by the way, but with the Queen of Pentacles, whatever they are doing, taking them, taking you under their wing, they're also recruiting themselves, their resources, and their skills to a cause that matters a lot to you, taking care of you and all involved. This may also be a time where some of you get recognized for some talents that have been obscure or overlooked and lifted up by such a person as well. For your challenge this week, you've got the Hierophant reversed, which is actually not a bad challenge, believe it or not. Um, this is more of a personal challenge, not an external challenge, because the Hierophant card reversed is all about breaking with past patterns, breaking with old attachments, breaking with old routines, and not sticking to bad guns anymore. A lot of the times this card can show up where things are getting shook up for our own good, but if it's showing up as a challenge, it can indicate a need for us to be ready to let go of trying to 
hold on to or stick to bad patterns or routines for their own sake. You know, sometimes we could be tempted to try and stick something out or work something out or overcompensate for what should just be let go. And that is going to be an important thing to remember as you go through this week. For your relationships with love, romance, and partnerships, you've got the Queen of Swords reversed. And the Queen of Swords reverse is indicating there could be a conflict or um, some kind of altercation coming up in a romantic corner of your world around something from the past that has been carried into the present. More often than not, this is something from before you actually got into maybe the uh, the space or the relationship that you're in. So this could be something that has kind of tagged along or maybe, um, you know, from a partner's past or maybe your past could be showing up and uh, attempting to raise a little bit of hell. With the Queen of Swords reversed, this is not something to be coddled or, or treated gingerly. It, you have to kind of match that kind of energy so you can, again, shut this down as well. And for those of you who are single or are available to new people, this could show up anyway with somebody new or recent. So mind all of that. And finally, for your spiritual advice, your guidance for this week, you've got the Page of Wands reversed. I know we got a lot of reverse cards and I know that there are still people out there who flip their shit over reverse cards and try to take it out on me. Your return to sender will be with you soon. But with the page of wands reverse, this is actually a good bit piece of advice and it's very on theme for this, uh, this spread. See the page of wands reversed is all about bailing out. It can be a card of flaking, but it can also be a card of escapes, cancellations, and release. And this week, you are getting a chance to take a lot of exits that maybe you should be taking, or maybe things that you would like to exit are finally going to be getting a chance to let you go. Know when it's time to make those escapes, because again, this can still be a very good week. You just have to let those exits happen. So that is what I've got for you all. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, don't forget my name is Nico, son of Celine. And should you ever want to get a session with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com.